This race, Connecticut's third congressional district, Representative Rosa DeLauro heading back to Washington, D.C. for a 16th term. She did have a, a pretty intense challenger right there. Margaret Stryker coming in with about 39% of the vote. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland. He is live right now with the mobile newsroom in the Elm City with all these details for us tonight. Matt. Hi there, Mark. A lot closer than what we're used to seeing here in this district. Rosa Delora, though, uh, did declare victory uh, just shortly after 11 o'clock today. Um, basically, uh, she was going up against a well-funded challenger, and, but then waiting for a number of absentee ballots to come in. But again, she did declare victory today, saying she came out on top. And, uh, you know, in fact, two years ago, it was quite a different story here at the Schubert Theater. It was an early night for her and her supporters. But this year, they had to wait a little bit. Uh, you know, Deloro did, in fact, pull off fending off two challengers, Republican Margaret Stryker from Milford and Green candidate Justin Paglino. It was a heated race here in the 3rd District, which includes New Haven and its suburbs. And while most of the focus was on Deloro and Stryker, that's because millions of dollars were poured into the race with political ads flooding the airwaves in the weeks leading up to the election. Uh, Stryker, a real estate developer and a newcomer to politics, attacked Deloro's record. Deloro fired right back, defending her 30 years in Congress. But when it was all over, Deloro came out out on top once again saying she trusted the voters in the third district and they delivered it is my honor to accept another term in the united states house of representatives to represent the third district of connecticut thank you to the voters of this district for their confidence in me thank you to the volunteers my campaign my family and as she gets set to return to Washington, D.C. for a 16th term, Deloro announced that she will be in the running for the chairman of the Appropriations Committee, which is in charge of federal spending. So she says that is what she is looking forward to uh, as she gets set to return to Washington. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.